This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. This is a video about uh, accounts receivable with and without recourse, which I will define in just a minute. We're going to assume that a company, Acme, has a receivable balance of a million dollars, and they decide to transfer 600000 of that receivable to a finance company and get paid that cash immediately, and in exchange, the finance company is going to charge them a fee. We're going to find out what re without recourse means here in a minute. You may see a phrase that says, this is the only time that a certain company is engaged in a transaction. That's not critical for answering this question, but you may see that. So finance is, Reliance Finance is the company that does the financing. And in exchange, Reliance does a few things. First, they retain 15% of the total payments they're going to make in case there is a bad debt with payments later. The second thing is, is that once the account receivable is collected, Reliance, the finance company, will remit the retained amount, the amount they were holding back, which is estimated to have a fair value of $80,000, less a 3% fee for providing the service of advancing the money to Acme, the company. The first question is, what journal entry does Acme make to record the fact that they got cash and finance this account receivable? First of all, we have to, I always say that we have to um, think about did anything happen to cash whenever we post a journal entry? And in this case, something did. And we have to think about how much cash. So we had collections of 600,000. We know in the question, that Reliance was going to withhold 15% and retain it for future uh, items that may not be paid, 90,000. The difference is the cash received, 510. And that is linked to the cash amount debit. They got $510,000. Acme, the company, is going to remove accounts receivable by crediting $600,000. That gets removed from the books. They also have an asset account like a receivable called due from Reliance. That amount is the estimated retainer amount we were given, less the 3% fee, which is 3% of the $600,000 that they financed. Take the difference, and that is the amount due from Reliance, that is the debit, 62000 The last item we make is we need a debit of $28,000 to make total debits equal credits. That plug figure, if you will, is going to be a gain or a loss because it's a debit that's needed to make it balance. That's a loss on the sale of accounts receivable to Acme. What if Reliance and the finance company collected the entire amount by March of the next year? What would be the journal entry? Well, the cash received would be here's our this section, in fact, is set up just like the template that we had to answer question number one. How did I end up getting the cash collected? Well, it was the retained amount, 90000 in blue, less that $18,000 fee that we paid, we actually collected cash, debit to Acme, $72,000. However, we found out above that the due from Reliance was only $62,000. We were expecting only $62,000. If you go to, up to the question above, that assumed that $80,000 was retained, $18,000 fee to get to sixty-two. dollars in reality, the entire 90000 was collected. So we took the due from off our books for 62. We got cash of 72. The difference, we put another income, credit. Because that $10,000 shortfall didn't happen, we're going to credit the books so we're back to even. 
Question three, what if things went the other way? What if there were $12,000 in receivables that were not collected? We call those adjustments. So that instead of 600000 we only collected 588 What would be the entry on March 31st under those circumstances? How do we get cash collected? Well, let, we have to do our collections before adjustment, which was... 90,000 retained in blue, $18,000 fee green, gets us to 72, less the adjustments given in the question. We collect $60,000 in cash debit. We take the due from that we got from question one off the books. It's no longer a receivable. We credit to remove it. To make debits equal credits, we need a debit of $2,000 loss on sale count receivable because we collected less than what we expected now we get to the idea of recourse and i put in brown recourse means that the uncollected amount is actually a liability that acme the company who had the receivable must pay the finance company So be careful with language. Question number four says, assume the transaction was made with recourse in a total of $20,000. What would be the journal entry? Well, much of this is the same as the journal entry you saw in question number one. Same cash received, 510. Same due from amount which I restate down here, the 80,000 retained less the fee is 62,000. So if I slide up, there's our due from a receivable 62. Acme removes a receivable from their books, 600,000 credit. However, now there is a recourse liability, a liability. We credit to increase the liability, 20000 given in the question. <coughs> Excuse me. To make debits equal credits, we need a loss on sale debit of $48,000. A larger loss because 20000 additional was not paid. In addition to what we already thought, we would not be paid before. So that is a brief overview of receivables both with recourse and without recourse. And the first question, we talked about the journal entry generally. Question two, we collected the entire amount. Question three, we collected less than what we planned. And finally, in question four, we had recourse. That's as far as we're going to get. Remember the on the website, St. Louis Test Prep, we have our account video textbooks, video instruction using Excel right now, accounting for investments in advanced accounting. You get the video, the Excel templates, a practice exam that's graded and explained. Here are the prices for their, those courses. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.